Oh, we're gonna make a pizza. Oven's been at 475 for about two hours. There's a pizza stone in there. This is semolina flour. This is an old pizza peel. It's wood. I'm spreading this stuff all over every corner of it because my goal is to get the dough to cover all this. We'll see how that actually works. Store-bought dough, I don't want to make it myself. The key part about starting the dough out is you have to get it in a ball quickly. So get a little bit of flour in your hands. Make sure you're ready for that. It's coming out. You want like a nice uniform ball or else you're going to get like a, a kooky square pizza that's going to have skin flaps and all kinds of crappy crap on it. So, all right. All right it's getting super sticky. Got to work a little fast here. Because once the dough is out, the timer is gone, you know? So I'm trying to get rid of all these little folds. Make a nice ball. Okay, we're looking good ball-wise. Okay, so now the key part is now I want a round pizza. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of this because we can't quite drape it over our fists yet. Because that's that's how you really get the stretch, is by using holding it in the air and putting it over your hands. So starting off pretty well, gotta admit. I'm happy with this so far. Like all things though, this could go horribly bad. Let's see what happens. All right, it's about big enough. Now let's put it on our fists and stretch and toss a little bit. You're, what you're doing is you're stretching the edge because the edge is gonna be really thick and it's okay if the middle gets a little thin. In fact, even if there's a little hole in it, that's gonna be fine. Ooh, this dough has been in the fridge for like four or five days. It's smelling a little, little ripe. Oh, this is not bad. Oh, shoot. Got to spread that around. And how do we do? Oh. Okay, so I'm going to do this, this shaking action quite a lot because that's what's going to keep it from sticking. So between every layer, I'm going to shake it a little bit to make sure nothing's going on. Make sure I'm not getting any uh, stickage. I already uh, prepped the mozzarella. And I always put a little bit of uh, shredded... Uh, cheddar in as well because it, uh, I don't know, it adds like a, adds a pretty good flavor. You don't need a lot of that. Now when you're spreading the toppings around, first of all, this is upside down pizza, so cheese goes on first. See? All right, are we still, all right, we're still moving. Good. Cheese goes on first because it's always the sauce, right, that like, uh, what does the sauce do? It like provides like a like a, a low viscosity layer that all the toppings slide off. You don't want that. And also, I'm trying to move the toppings less to the middle because the middle is going to cook the slowest, even in an oven that's been heated for a while. All right, there's that one. Now I've got some white onions. You can use whatever onions you want. In fact, go crazy on the onions because seriously, the more onions you put in, like the crazier better it's going to be. But I only had a quarter of an onion left, so that's what goes in. Um, I forgot to take this out. Good, okay. All right, I think we're on the sauce. I'm gonna push this in a little bit. We're gonna shake again. Okay, we're still moving. Now for the sauce, the goal is not to cover it. We're just gonna splatter it and just make like lumps. We're not looking for, mm, that's delicious. Shouldn't have done that, whatever. Uh, now I'm gonna put some oregano because this not only adds like a little nice tinge of Italian flavor, but also puts a little bit of spots on the crust, which looks nice. And I put a little bit of red pepper too. Uh, don't tell Lauren. Not a lot. All right, there we go. And then finally, I got some spinach. All right, that's about right. Are we still mobile? Yes, we are. Let's make a pizza. I make a pizza. Okay, it's been about 20-ish minutes at 4.50. I turned the oven off. Let's see how we did. Oh, yeah. Okay, still a little bit of liquid in the middle. That is okay. Nice. 
this off. I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes, then cut it, then we're gonna eat. And that's how you make an upside down pizza with Mark.